Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. It's time for some more EU4 Ethiopia Army of the Host Galvin. So I just realized we're westernizing, and we have actually a very limited pool of diplomatic points. So, I'm going to have to deal with that. Uh, in addition to this, get rid of the Native Assimilation Act. This, we need to try and reduce the rate at which we lose diplomatic points as quickly as possible. Uh, you can never have too much grain. Sure. Good. Uh, because I'm going to need to try and take as many provinces as possible. But, you know, at the same time, uh, 225 is the next low point, so I have to hope that we win before then. Five cannons, good. Yeah, sure, prestige, whatever. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Glad to see uh, Byzantium winning against Venice, though. And yes, it is Christmas music. Oh yes, and it is patch 1.9, so we now have the disaster system. Yay! I haven't seen a disaster yet. Um, I don't know. I'm just too good to get them. You better not hold out for all fucking eternity. 232. 231. Better surrender within six months. Hey, alright, cool. Yeah, I'll just take Yao instead. There. In addition, I need to be able to core all of this, which I probably cannot do. Figure as much. Adjacent one of our core provinces for us to be able to. Oh, wait. Or it has to have a uh, direct land route to the capital, which it currently doesn't have. He was like, no, I should be able to core them, uh, but not right now, is the answer. Are we gaining admin power? I don't think we are. Yeah, yeah we're losing it. Okay. Just checking. Just checking. Naive relative. You go to him. All right, so we're, we're pretty good here. We're, we're pretty situated well here for further attacks into West Africa. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to slow the heck down right now. We just need to slow down, slow. And I say this, people resist westernization. Ignore their demands. Because we are now out of admin and diplomacy points. I mean, I, I like, you know, conquering things as much as anybody else, but we need to slow down. We can't continue and somehow still make a bunch of... Oh, okay. Uh, so we can now... Yeah, good. Good. All right, well, we got at least four provinces being cored. Four out of six ain't bad. All right. Let's give this an overextension of 20%, right? And we're done here. Yeah, 24. Okay. Alright, not great. Not bad. National unrest is up. And for fortunately, we uh, aren't getting any points to internal conflicts. I have no idea what is required to get points towards internal conflicts, but... Uh, oh, well. And the Connery Patriots. Yes, I'm sure. Luckily, that's the region I'm currently focusing on. <laughs> And then the other places are either Cano Nationalists or Bilala Patriots. Twenty-four point nine percent chance of increasing by ten percent each month. So they've increased that. Austria and Great Britain are no longer rivals. Hmm. Great Britain's even friendly to me. Cool, yo. Hmm. Great Britain would be a valuable ally if I could get them. We'll see about the others. I have a strange feeling that uh, I don't remember when it is, but there's a point. 
Eh, it's harmless in the long run. It really is. Because I can fucking instant convert it back. I'll just, you know, start mass converting the things. Trying to reduce the uh, unrest in these provinces a little bit. Try and buy time for the course to complete. Which it is working. It's only up to 60%. Yet yeah, the cores are almost done. In particular, these two. Which will be useful. Because, uh, cores are... I forget what... Do cores actually do anything? I think they remove the nationalism. Maybe. Could be talking on my ass. I don't know, we'll find out. I don't think, do cores actually do anything? Well, they reduce overextensionism, for one. If nothing else... Sadamo and Tigre. Okay. I'm more concerned with getting the cores finished. Alright. Internal conflicts, yes. Let's try and get everything done. Maybe, maybe uh, the concept of increasing autonomy to these provinces isn't the worst idea. Yeah. We'll give them some autonomy. Should put an end to it. Done. Alright. You. Go smash. I can invest in new technology, but I'm not going to. I want to actually finish westernization first. So we're on track right now for December 1653. Okay, so about six years from now. That's fine. What's on my maximum here? 1398, three, okay. Let's make sure we don't hit that. Alright. You can take care of those before they become a major problem. Netherlands no one considers Austria a rival. That I am not agree. Good. Westernization lose 10. God damn it. Alright, so it's practically no unrest now. Let's face it, it would have been lose 100 admin power or lose 120 uh, westernization points. It doesn't matter which. Uh, that is a straight better deal. <coughs> Lose only 100, or lose 120. Because, I mean, 100% of my admin points are going in anyway. Uh, so, Castile hates me, Netherlands doesn't give a shit. How about Bohemia and Austria? Anyone? Half of them probably don't even know I exist, really, and that's the problem. Good. Instead, decay each month. Good. Good, good, good. So, no unrest. It decays. <clears throat> oh, no. Damn. Well, so much for that. Oh, no. The great statesman of Byzantium is dead. And our royal marriage has ended. Uh... Advisors, resist westernization. Oh, come on. Fine. It's gonna get worse before it gets. Uh oh. Looming disaster. Stability. Okay, so we're at 1% each month. How long until we're done westernization? More than 100 months from now. Actually, is it 12 months? No, 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 not actually. Um, but it's enough for me to worry. Enough for me to do this. There. 
really start cranking out the uh, admin points. Although they're all still going to be used in westernization. It'll mean that more points overall will be used in westernization should hopefully increase the speed at which it goes. I hope. I like land maintenance minus 10%. I mean, 19 a month. How, how much is our land maintenance each month? I think it's pretty high, right? Yeah. 1.6 gold a month. Eh, more like uh, 1.8 how much is saving us, but whatever. Alright. <clears throat> Yeah. We're still gaining uh, those points, though, so we're in good shape. Not actually that bad. And now we're actually gaining admin points, too. If only one a month. That's fine, though. One a month is okay. We don't really need much more in one a month than Castile started to dig in here, I see. Well, we're going to have to really increase our efforts in Sub-Saharan Africa. Should probably also finish off the Mamluks at some point, but uh, I'd prefer to do something, you know, about all of the problems we're currently having. Alright, so July 1653, since we're now actually able to get six administrative points each. Border tensions. Lovely. It's not like Gaza's ever been a, uh, you know, sense of border tension ever before. Alright. So, yeah, we're, I think we can avert this uh, disaster. I think. It'd... Assuming nothing else starts increasing. Assuming nothing else starts in increasing, we'll be okay. I'm waiting to make an uh, alliance with Great Britain because um, I might France might become uh, happier with me soon. I should probably also start working on upgrading the army. Uh, yes, we need a lot. So I'm going to make a 10 for 10 line. It seems to correlate to a rise in higher prices. 10 for 10 line. There we are. Save. The fuck? Where did this even come from? This was not here before. The fuck? The fuck? Where the fuck did all those come from? Man, weird shit. Weird shit. Not touching it. Just gonna call it bug, move on. Okay. Hmm. So, the 10 for 10 line. This is gonna become the new standardized design that we'll be using. First things are straight to build one. We'll have to upgrade the others to one, but uh, that's alright. Be a little while. We need to improve our military strength. And we need to start projecting into the Mediterranean as well. What do I care for the cultural establishment? Cool, so we have ten transport ships. Well, uh, I was thinking... We need, uh, actually 7, 8, yeah. Alright, 12, 20, yeah, yeah. 7 each. I was thinking we're going to need more close to that many. Byzantium broke their alliance with us. Hostile? They desire Alexandria. Minus 27. Alright. Well, that was random and extremely weird. Alright, looks like I really have to start looking west. I, I mean, if they want to try and take Alexandria, feel free, come by. I, I dare you. Just go ahead. Golden Horde internal conflicts. Uh oh. Kind of worried just sitting here going, shit. Shit. 
The second I do um, what, do complete weaponization, this goes away, though. Because it, this internal conflict requires a national unrest of at least one. So, I think I'm okay. I think. Hard to say. Hmm. I can gain the town on the rest, I don't care. Alright. Situation could be a lot worse, though. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're gonna narrowly avert a disaster. Fucking Byzantium just randomly turned on us, though. We still have royal ties, too. Hmm. Merchants resist westernization. Lose honor diplomatic power. Gah! Stupid merchants. Veneering. Ooh. Tolerate heretics. Tolerate heretics. I see. So they just have different values for tolerated heretics. What, do you have, like, humanist ideas? Strange, then. Innovative, maybe. To the one and only faith. Good. Start converting all over the place. The Canadi Patriots and everyone else. They're actually about to lose most of their thingies momentarily, aren't they? Most of their support. If not all of it. Hopefully none of them can fire before westernization finishes. I think we're getting 12 each month. Because, you know, diplomatic power is down. So it's still another six months or so. The current rate. Come on. They haven't rebelled yet. They're going to. And we need to go deal with them immediately. Unfortunately, they're just going to squeeze in right before. Right before. Ignore. Alright. So my never full. Yeah, that's good. And this is gonna be the month that they revolt, obviously. Oh no. Hmm. Alright, so the internal conflict's no longer a possible issue. 2.3% chance each month. Alright, that's Madara and Magari. And that's only because of an active missionary. Maybe I shouldn't be. Alright. Problem solved. Yao, 5%. Have some autonomy. There. Let's just diplomatically solve the rebel problem. And then we need to start moving towards stability. Alright, tolerance increasing, legitimacy increasing. Maybe remaining in the uh, autonomy of these provinces specifically. Because I do want these boats completed quicker. If Byzantium is going to be hostile to me, then there will be hell to pay for them. They're allied with France. Oh my. Then Great Britain's probably going to be my salvation of an ally. This is, it's strange to be like, alright, we're going to have to team up with the Ottomans and attack and take over Byzantium and make sure the Ottoman Empire rises to power. Like, what? When have I ever done that? I've usually done the opposite. I've usually done the opposite. This is definitely different for me. Ah, well. Anywho, thank you, everybody, for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Kielvin, signing off.